Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I forgot to do an intro for the video that you're about to watch <laughs> for the um, vegan spice cake. So I'm doing it now and I just wanted to say this is a really great recipe. I didn't get any pictures of us, of me cutting it or us enjoying it because I basically dropped it off at his place. Uh, he had some friends over so I just dropped the cake off. So he sent me some funny pictures. <laughs> of him and the cake that I will include at the end. I hope you enjoy the recipe. I hope you try the recipe. Okay everyone, here is what you're going to need for this vegan spice cake. Uh, I'm going to start with the dry ingredients. You're going to need some all-purpose flour, some baking soda, brown sugar, a little bit of salt, some cinnamon, cloves, ginger, nutmeg and then for the wet ingredients some non-dairy milk unsweetened non-dairy milk I'm going to use the silk um, a light flavored oil I'm using canola oil some lemon juice freshly squeezed or from a bottle works fine uh, and a little bit of molasses not the blackstrap molasses the <laughs> what they're calling the fancy molasses the regular molasses I'm not sure uh, and then you need some measuring cups measuring spoon a spatula a uh, wet measuring cup and then two bowls one for the wet ingredients one for the dry ingredients and then a cake pan either two small round ones or a rectangular one you can also make cupcakes you'll just have to adjust your cooking time um, accordingly and that's what we need for our cake so the first thing I'm going to do is grease and flour my cake pan I really find that doing this makes a big difference in how um, well it comes out of the cake pan so just take a stick of margarine I'm using earth balance give it a good rub down and then I'm going to dust it with a little bit of flour uh, just to make sure that everything comes out nice And just a little bit of flour while you're doing this get your oven preheating to 350 degrees Fahrenheit all right so that is ready I'm just gonna set it over here and we are going to mix in our dry ingredients now this is a vegan cake so there are no eggs the rise comes from the chemical reaction of the baking soda and the lemon juice which is why we're going to mix the ingredients in separate bowls and once we're ready to bake we're going to mix the two together because the chemical reaction will begin and we want to make sure that we get it in the oven promptly after we've mixed those two together you don't have to race it's not like a panic or anything like that but we do want to get them mixed together fairly quickly so in your bigger bowl um, and as always the recipe the full recipe will be linked down below but uh, in your bigger bowl you want two and a half cups of flour This is one of my son's favorite cakes. Actually, both of my kids like spice cakes. So do I. It reminds me of my mom, <laughs> like so much of my cooking. All right, so we have two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. I do not know how this would work if you wanted to make it with whole wheat. Um, you can give it a try. I wouldn't mix, I wouldn't substitute 100% whole wheat, but you could probably do hmm, maybe a third whole wheat, the rest uh, white but I've never tried it so one and a third cups of brown sugar and you want this packed in there as with always when you're measuring brown sugar you want to pack it in to the measuring cup so that's one and a third make sure that's a third nope that's a half so <laughs> 
here we go again. So I did two and a third cups of flour and I want two and a half cups. So I'm going to scoop up one third cup of flour, put it back and get a half cup. Oh my God. My <laughs> yeah, I'm, I don't even know what to say to that. So here's the half cup of flour. So it's two and a half cups of the flour. One and a third cups of the brown sugar. Yeah. You'd think I didn't bake very often. All right, so I need one third of a cup of the brown sugar because I put one cup in. So now I have a third. And as I was about to say, um, this is a cake, so there's oil in it, there is sugar in it. All right, so now we need two teaspoons of the baking soda. One teaspoon of salt. One tablespoon of cinnamon. There's my cinnamon, there's my cinnamon. One and a half teaspoons of ginger. A half teaspoon of cloves. And one teaspoon of nutmeg. I am going to whisk this together because that is all the dry ingredients and I really want this mixed well. Make sure that any lumps from the brown sugar are broken up. So now let's do our wet ingredients. I need one and a third cups of non-dairy milk. Two thirds of a cup of oil. Uh, there we go. You could try uh, substituting some of the oil for applesauce. I've never done that in this recipe. That was just enough, so that was <laughs> that was handy. And one quarter cup of lemon juice. Wow, I, I was meant to make this cake. <laughs> That's exactly a quarter of a cup. Wow. Yeah, I feel good about that. <laughs> so now we need two tablespoons of molasses and two tablespoons of vanilla extract, which I have forgotten. So I'll be right back. And I'm back. So two tablespoons of vanilla extract. two tablespoons of molasses. Whoop. One, two. And now I'm actually gonna whisk this together. We really wanna get that molasses mixed in there. Because what we don't want is to have to over mix this batter. As with any cake batter, you really don't want to over mix because the more you over mix, sort of the tougher everything gets. All right, so now my oven has preheated. I am ready to go. I'm going to mix the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients and then stir them just enough to get them mixed. Be 
but you can start to see already that the mixture is uh, kind of getting uh, puffy because of the chemical reaction of the um, lemon juice and the baking soda. All right. I'm just making sure everything on the bottom is scraped up. Now I'm going to pour it in the cake pan. And it's okay if there's some lumps because they will dissolve, cook out in the baking process. And then just level it out like you would any other cake batter and make sure you taste it. So I'm going to put this in the oven and I'm going to start it at 25 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, stick a toothpick in the center if it comes out all gummy and doughy you know it's not ready so just let it sit in there for an additional five minute increments until you get to the desired doneness um, so that it's done inside I can't tell you exactly how much how long that will be because it really depends on your oven and the altitude of where you live um, because baking is chemistry unlike cooking uh, baking actually has so many other factors that get involved. So I'm just going to stick this in the oven. Ah, and I'll see you back here when it comes out. Okay, it's done. <laughs> I, I'm sorry if I'm a little glowy. It's warm here and I've had the oven on. So I've made a little, I've let it cool off and I've made a little glaze with Icing sugar, a little bit of melted margarine, some maple um, extract, and some maple syrup, and a touch of salt. Um, we're not big icing people in my family, uh, the kids and I, but I do like a little, to add a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of something on there. So I'm just going to drizzle the glaze on here. Now, I'm not, I'm not going to show you uh, what it looks like inside a cut piece because I'm taking this over to my son's house. Super easy, very delicious. I really hope you guys give this a try and let me know what you think. I hope you guys are doing well and I hope you try this recipe and I will see you next Wednesday.